the Meru County who are met today. The people of Kenya in the preamble of the Constitution of Kenya 2010 indicated that they are committed to nurturing and protecting the well-being of the individual, the family, communities, and the nation. The Constitution further indicates that as a nation we are proud of our ethnic, cultural, religious diversity and determined to live in peace and unity as one indivisible sovereign nation. It is, it is disturbing to see that political leaders in our county are engaging in actions and verbal exchanges that threaten peace and well-being of the people of Meru County. It is our prayer this should come to an end. We call upon the security agencies to undertake speedy and comprehensive investigations to ensure those inciting violence are prosecuted. No one should threaten the peace and security of Kenyans and get away with it. We remind all of us the warning that God gave in Ecclesiastes 8.11. When the sentence for a crime is not quickly carried out, the hearts of the people are filled with schemes to do wrong. Recognizably, the Constitution of Kenya 2010 established a nation that is based on dialogue and consultations. We are therefore concerned that the cycle of post-election fallout between leaders is implying that our leaders joined in coalitions and the partnerships merely to win elections but not to serve the society. We call upon our Excellency Governor, Deputy Governor, Senator, Woman representative, members of parliament, and members of county assembly to embrace dialogue and peaceful political engagement. As the elected leaders in Meru County, you each have a mandate to entrench a culture of inclusivity and multi stakeholder dialogue and consultations to address issues rather than confrontations. The political differences among our people should always draw us to sit and converse and should not be a reason for divisions and violence. On our part, we as religious leaders are available and willing to mediate to ensure success in the establishment of a framework for dialogue and consultations in the county. It is important that each of us remembers the inspiration given in Philippians 2.4. Each of you should look not only to your own interests, but also to the interests of others. Much forward to develop our county. And the last thing we've talked about, uh, and food prices. Let, let her hear from you if she of this meeting that we have today. Let's have you know a forum of a few visitor. Well, in course, yes, sir. And, you know, the second governor is saying we have the third one. Let's kill a pen of Tonga Yum Tonga Chili. Do you know Fanya? What am I bishop who are up and awake? Jambu Kupa Sasa and Yombi. At the Kabura to Kutana, how are to Naseke Hombi in Bere Kabisa to order to you? Nisha Dadina, you will. And by a mess, there are a few things that I've noted that, uh, of course, the, the onset we had of uh, we.